Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video. Because today I'm going to be going over some of the stuff that was announced in the Digest that's coming for the third anniversary celebration. AKA just the third year anniversary, I guess. So yeah, I'm going to be going over the many of the things they kind of talk about in the Digest. Kind of give some thoughts about it. Um give my opinions on some stuff and yeah that's gonna be today's video i hope you like it if you do you can uh leave a like you can tell me how what you're looking forward to in the third year anniversary what you liked what you didn't like maybe i think for the most part everything here is pretty damn solid so if you have something negative to say i'd actually be kind of interested to hear it um and as always you can subscribe to me if you want to hear more videos featuring me so not just all dragalia because that's not that's not how i roll but anyway, let's get into it. So yeah, third year anniversary. I'm going to be using a multitude of things, but I'm first going to quickly jump to my Twitters, because that's what I used to remember. It was a busy-ass day. Uh, so we had the Digest, and then we also had the God reveal uh, that um, the Nintendo 64 controller was coming back. Yeah, so let's get into it. So of course, we're going to start with the the headed, the head headliner here, the fact that... Um, Daily, daily free tenfolds were coming back. This time for 38 days, 380 times, and then at the end of this we get a free 100 multi. So that puts it up to 480 free multis. Not free multis. Free summons. And then thanks to the tickets that we got, that could be rounded out to about 100, 500 free multis. And it's probably a little bit more if you count the daily login stuff as free multis as well. But you get what I'm saying here. We're going to get a lot of summons, which is good. I think a lot of people were looking for more summons after how badly Genshin introduced what things might be coming to their game. Let me tell you, all those people that put Dragalia versus Genshin, first of all, it's not a fair fight. It's Psy Games versus anything, because Psy Games is notoriously known for giving free multis just all the time. So, <laughs> they should compare it to other gotchas, to be honest. Uh, the only reason they get compared is because there's Paimon and then there's Not, and everyone knows Not. Not is the best. Look at her. Adorable. Double Not. All the way. Anyway, so that's coming. Uh, the gal the first thing that's coming for the anniversary is actually not the actual Gala Banner, but a Gala Dragalia featuring all the Gala Banner units. There's also going to be a premium version where you're guaranteed to get a Gala ad Adventure. I didn't take note of that because I never do them, because I have too many. And it's a first world problems, really. But if you pay and you want to get a Gala Adventurer, then hey. And you don't care who it is or potential for a terrible dupe, then go for it. Um, but this should have everything. If you want a Sparking before the anniversary for some reason, if you're that desperate to get someone, you can totally do that. I mean, you can get Gala Knot, and I love Gala Knot. She's one of my favorite Gala units, I think. And here is the actual Gala unit that's compared. It is Gala Zenthia. Uh, spoilers for the story. Sorry if you were not cut up in the story. Here's another spo st uh, story spoiler. Gala Bahamut. So yeah, for the first time, I want to say, it has to be for the first time, we're getting two Gala Banner units featured at the same time. With Gala Sethia and Gala Bahamut. I've been trying to rack my brain, trying to think if there's ever been a time where two were featured at the same time that were not uh, Gala remixes. Um... And a Gala Remix, it's a little bit different, because, you know, they're the only two Gala Banner units on the entire banner. So it's kind of like, yo, it's kind of nice. That's not the case for this banner. Uh, it has all the Gala Banner units on it, so it's actually kind of interesting to see. Um, I kind of, I like both of them. I like the idea of getting both of them. The thing I don't like, but I think is also kind of fair... I don't like the idea of there being two Gala banners, uh, two basically two Gala units in the same banner that are brand new, because I don't like the idea of pulling Gala Zenthia first, uh, and then when you're going for Gala Bahamut, getting nothing but good dupes of Gala Zenthia, or the much worse, the much worse thing that happens, double sparking on a Gala banner. So you have to spark it once for Gala Zenthia, and then sparking again for Gala Bahamut, and that just sounds like a bad time. Now, of course, the chances of that happening are very small, but here's the other thing I realized. I think I would have actually preferred it this way, as opposed to doing Galazethia at the beginning of the month, and then at the end saying, hey, by the way, we're not done yet. Here's another Gala banner. It's Galabahamut. 
I think this way it makes it a little bit better and it makes a little bit more sense. And with the slowdown kind of happening eventually with Dragalia, I can't be too mad at it. So it's kind of one of those things of like, if this was any other gacha, I wouldn't like this. But because specifically it's during Anniversary where there's a bunch of free multis, I got real, real problems with it. It's kind of one of those things of don't do this outside of an Anniversary, please. Uh, please and thank you. And I think that's fair. Right? I'm not being... Hmm... I don't feel like I'm being outlandish saying I would not like two new Gala units to summon for on one banner. Right? Right? Anyways, let's move on, shall we? There's a part one and part two of a login bonus, which is very nice. This one gives you a little jump, as I believe not called them. Uh, they'll also get two Almacedites, which Almacedites are... Um, the thing that'll allow you to completely max out a character's uh, levels and spiral all the way to the max. So it completely bypasses Trials of the Mighty, which is very nice. Um, I plan to save both of them for whenever both Mims get their Trials of the Mighty, so I don't have to wait <laughs> at all. Uh, but I actually like that they introduced them as you get two free ones. All right, considering how quickly they release Trials of the Mighty how many mana spiral characters are out there and stuff like that. I think it's actually very nice for them to do this. I actually expected them to only be in paid packs at the beginning and then eventually we would get some that we could actually get, but this is much better I feel like. It was a good move on their part. Next we are going to fight fucking Satan. Alright. I should actually explain. Um, in this event here called uh, Faith Forsaken, it's going to be a part one and part two. We'll be able to get Harley over here. Uh, as you can see here, the bad dude who has always been bad uh, since the beginning of the game, <laughs> since day zero, uh, he's been in the game, and now we're going to finally get him, I guess, if you're a big fan of... Let me tell you right now, there's plenty of people out there who love assholes, and this guy's an asshole, so they're going to absolutely be loving them, loving this asshole. They're going to be going, mm, no, 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 I'm going to eat this asshole up, because I love him so much. And I'm all here for you. I'm here to support you. But for me, this guy's getting straight <laughs> never touched at all. I don't care how good he is. He's not getting touched. And to be fair, he's going to be probably pretty amazing. Because the last uh, anniversary, Mordacete, is I believe... Am I pronouncing his name wrong? I probably am. Um, the free light unit last year was also very good. So I expect him to be kind of similar. Um... And also this specific battle against Satan will be a 16 player raid, which is very nice. Next, they introduce some new units, which is uh, here. Uh, I, I took note of the most important one, Pia. She has not shown up in Dragalia in years. Let me quickly track down the others for you guys. Alright, first up we got Halloween Cyrus uh, in his doctor's outfit with his nurse. Uh, I forget her name at the moment. The... <laughs> The, the lady friend of uh, Luca. Um, only one of the Halloween units. So I'm going to be interested to see what the other one is. I just realized he is doing operations on the robot boy. Who I cannot remember the name of at the moment. Because it's late. So let's see next. After Halloween Silas we've got two angels. Which are Yurian and Michael. Uh, as you can see here, there are two angel boys that are going to be coming as dragons. Then after him is actually the dragon yule unit, which is Norbit? No, that's not his name. His name is Nevin. <laughs> it's, it's Nevin. Dragon yule Nevin. Um, then after is the dude from Genshin, Izumo. Uh, obviously not from Genshin, but I'm just making jokes here. Um, Izumo, and then finally, the last of the new ones introduced, Pia, everyone's favorite character. So those are some new adventures kind of coming out. They're also kind of spread out, cause obviously, because Nevin's not here until December. Um, Michael and... I expect Michael and Yurian to probably be after the Galadragalia. I think that would be more the most likely thing. Is It'd be kind of weird to do two back-to-back -back angel dudes, though, right? That sounds weird. But you never know with Dragalia sometimes. There's obviously going to be an adventure, but we'll have to wait and see which one it is. And obviously with Halloween, it should be coming sometime late October. Um, he'll be limited. I think it's very funny that they on purpose have not shown the female Halloween unit or the female Dragon Yule unit. That feels like they are burying the lead, <laughs> but whatever. Um, we'll find out more about them. So this is the Kaleidoscope. 
and this is a new event coming to Dragalia Lost. The Kaleidoscope is like kind of like a roguelike. You explore the labyrinth, you gather weapons, you gather up skills and worm prints and shared skills and stuff like that. Dragons as well. That's the thing I forgot to mention. And yeah, and if you complete it, it looks like, which I'm basing it off of this. Um, let me see if you can see the full thing. Of course you can't. Good job. <laughs> no, that's even worse somehow. Alright, one moment. There we go. I am going to have to change this for the, the other part here. It's fine. The goal is to reach the lowest platform possible as you delve into the kaleidoscope. You will level up your adventure and obtain new gear, including weapons and dragons. If you are victorious, you will earn a worm print that features a portrait of the adventurer you used. Boom. Say no more. Doing it with Mim. And Halloween Mim. You, should, you could say less. As the kids say nowadays, say less. That sounds amazing to me. Alright, next. I want to say that's basically it from this point. After the Kaleidoscope, they kind of mentioned that Knott's Notes uh, is going to be able to get uh, the ability to reread previous events. Also, Onslaught, Defensive, and Coliseum events are being added to the Event Compendium, the exact opposite thing I was worrying about, which I said, I bet Event Compendium is just going to go away. No, they said we're going to add more. I'm all good for that. Good, good. I'm glad they're doing it. And finally, this is the end. They announced that they're going to continue releasing monthly chapters of the story. And also, the here's a free multi. And that was basically it for the digest so far. Um, I kind of expect more stuff kind of around the time of the this month in Dragalia in about a week. So we'll know a little bit more then uh, about what's kind of how they're going to pace out some of the banners and some other units and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what we got going for so far for the third year anniversary. Uh, they also mentioned some other changes, but those are all here with app updates that I've mentioned in previous videos, so I didn't feel like bringing it up again. Um, yeah, that's the third the anniversary. So yeah, I should stop saying so yeah so much. I say it so much. Uh, looking good. The only thing I can complain about is the two Gala, Drag uh, two Gala Dragalia units at the same time. And I've already made my peace with that, and I think already that's not that big of a deal when you think about it. After giving it some initial thoughts, after my quick go around, um, very excited to see what's going to happen for more. So yeah, third year anniversary, let's go! I'm actually very glad they didn't drop a huge rework. Um, obviously, uh, some huge rework being like how completely different some things change. It's like, no, I think they've learned. They're gonna, they did a tiny one with the dragons, so they're like, let's start with the dragons, and then we'll make our way as we get there. But not maybe not all at once, huh? Which is smart. So yeah, looking forward to it. I'll see you guys whenever the first event drops, probably sometime around 26, and when we know more about what the units do. Uh, so you guys have a good day. And as always, if you like this video, leave a like, comment, tell me about what you're feeling at the moment. Subscribe to me for more stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good day. And have a good night. Bye-bye.